This is one of the latest frames captured tonight. What you're looking at is three eye atlas centered cleanly in the field, with background stars stretched into faint streaks as the telescope tracks the object itself. That bright, compact core is still holding together. No breakup, no diffusion, just a tight central glow. The orientation markers tell us something important here. The structure stays aligned even as the background slides past. That means the motion is real, not a processing artifact, not a tracking error. And this image was taken during peak Geminids activity, a crowded sky, plenty of noise. Yet 3i Atlas still stands out clearly. That's our baseline for tonight. Now look at the same object with a different stretch. This isn't a new capture. It's the same data, remapped to expose intensity. And here's what jumps out. The core is extremely compact, almost point-like, surrounded by a smooth, symmetric falloff. No ragged edges, no chaotic spray, just a tight energy center holding its shape. The color scale tells the story. That bright central peak drops off evenly in all directions, which is exactly what you'd expect if the source is stable, not fragmenting, not flaring randomly. Even with background streaks cutting through the frame, the signal stays clean, locked, consistent. This confirms what we saw on the first image. The structure isn't changing. Only our way of looking at it is. Now this third frame flips the contrast completely. Same object, same moment. But here the core is shown in absorption instead of brightness. And that matters. You can see how sharply defined that center really is. It drops off fast. No diffuse haze spreading outward. No messy edges. This kind of profile tells us the light isn't being scattered randomly. It's being controlled by a very compact region at the center. The background streaks are still there, which means the exposure conditions haven't changed. Only the rendering has. So when you line this up with the previous two views, the conclusion is hard to avoid. 3i Atlas isn't evolving chaotically. It's holding structure, consistently, across multiple processing methods. This fourth image is where things get interesting. What you're looking at here is a rotational gradient enhancement. It's designed to strip away the smooth glow and expose directional structure. And once you do that, something pops out immediately. There's a forward biased feature, not a random smear, not noise, a localized extension emerging from the core. It's subtle, but it's coherent. It points in a consistent direction and it survives aggressive processing. That tells us this isn't an artifact. It's a real structural component tied to the central source. When an object keeps revealing the same geometry, no matter how you process it, that's usually a sign you're seeing the true physics underneath. Now put these two side by side. On the left, you're seeing the rotational gradient from December 9th. On the right, the same processing from December 13th. Same observer, same filter, same technique. And yet, the structure has changed. The forward feature on the 13th is tighter, brighter, and more concentrated. The core looks more active, not more diffuse. Instead of spreading out, it's sharpening. That's the key point. Over just a few days, this object isn't fading into noise, it's organizing. The geometry is becoming clearer, not messier. When independent frames taken nights apart evolve in the same direction, that's not random variation. That's a real physical change in the source. Now look at this. This isn't a big observatory or a filtered composite. This was captured from Virginia by Jeff Goldstein using a Seastar S50. Multiple short exposures, minutes apart. And you can clearly see three eye atlas shifting against the background stars near NGC 3535. That motion confirms we're not looking at noise or processing artifacts. This object is real, it's moving fast, and it's still active. While three eye atlas continues its journey, tonight the sky delivers something closer to home. These images show the Geminids meteor shower at peak activity. What you're seeing isn't a single moment, it's time stacked together. Roughly an hour of meteors layered into one frame, with streaks cutting through Orion and the winter sky. Some lines are meteors, 
Some are satellites. But together, they show just how active Earth's environment becomes when we pass through this debris stream. If skies are clear where you are, this is one of the best nights of the year to simply step outside and look up. So what do you think? Have you spotted any Geminids tonight? Or are clouds blocking your view? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more real-time space updates like this, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still thinks nothing interesting happens in the night sky. Stay curious.